Hey team, this is Deja Vu. My name's Lisa. Um, I'm gonna do a quick little resin tutorial on showing you the 10 minute resin. I absolutely love this stuff. Um, so we are gonna just kind of blast right through it. I don't wanna make the video like, you know, an hour long. So basically, I do that number. It's my little life hack for measuring resin. So what I do is you have to be very cautious and level out the exact amount for each A and B. Um, let me set these to the side. This is fast cast A, fast cast B. Now this is my first time using this brand, but I don't foresee it gonna, you know, being like a big issue or anything. Um, do not roast me in the comments, or I mean, I guess you can if you really want to. I'm not gonna pay attention to it. Uh, I am not pouring with gloves, simply because I'm very clumsy right here, especially with having the video on. So I'm not gonna pour with gloves right now. Um, don't, you know. I always say take every precaution that you can to be safe. Um, I am not a daily pourer of resin. So when I do bust out my gloves and the whole nine yards, then I am a hot mess with it. Um, so again, do what you need to do, what you feel is safe for you. You're going to have people that go hardcore that wear like the, the breathing devices and the whole nine yards. That's perfectly fine. No, no problem. That's their, that's their tea. Um, you're going to have people that don't wear anything that just wing it like I'm doing right now. And you're going to have people that are just a little more cautious and wear gloves, um, or wear goggles or wear whatever. So, you know, again, don't roast me in the comments to each their own. Everybody feels, you know, the need to be safe in their own way and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that but anyway so moving on uh right now i am just literally gonna make some blanks of my molds uh be sure and get these as level as you can um they're both 16 fluid ounces uh both of these containers uh, i'll put the link below to show you the actual uh, where I got them so that if you too would like to buy them you can it's just on Amazon it was like I think next day shipping something like that this is my mold that I made it is a ashtray mold it is going to be available in the shop comment uh, the link will be in the comments below um, I hope you guys like it it's pretty cute uh, this to me is a very efficient mold for not using a lot of resin you know my key was to make something that was a little more resin friendly because lord have mercy some of these take up so much resin like i have where is it oh look this is one of my molds and holy cow it takes up a ton of resin you know which makes it not very cost friendly whenever you are making custom orders um, you know, of course, people will pay for what they want. So, you know, whatever you price it at, that's your business. But if you're wanting something that's a little more cost friendly to make and you love the ashtray fad, this is it. This one, it's relatively thin. And, you know, it just doesn't take up a lot of resin. So, anyways, moving on. It's not a commercial. So, what I'm going to do is get I'm just gonna go ahead and use this because literally it's gonna be white resin anyways now this resin when pouring in large quantities it will get really hot so please be aware of that um, and it literally cures in 10 minutes so <clears throat> it is not meant to play around 
So the faster that you mix it and get it completely mixed, be sure and scrape the sides. Again, you see I'm being super cautious. I already feel the heat from it, which is amazing. And this will be cured to a solid piece in 10 minutes. Um, again, if you look, let's see if you can see. It looks like it's kind of oily almost. That's because it's just mixing. I always feel like you can't mix enough because I have, I don't know if you've ever done it, but I have literally made a piece, worked really hard on it, and then been kind of in a hurry, didn't mix it quite properly, and then it comes out, you know, not curing the right way, which sucks. So, like, my goal here is to not have that happen. Okay, so it is looking like it is mixed all the way. I'm just going to mix another minute just to be sure. Double check those sides. Get the bottom. Again, this is me not touching it at all. I'm hoping I mixed enough. If not, I'll have to do a second little batch to fill it up. Okay, it is actually quite warm now, so I'm going to go ahead and pour it in here. And I did actually make plenty, so what I am going to do... Let's go ahead and scoot this one over very gently. Don't need no issues. And then I'm going to go ahead and pour this one as well. And it's already starting to thicken. It actually looks like it's going to be... I threw my stick away because I didn't want to touch it. It's already getting hard. Ah, that's so crazy. But yes, yeah, so this is to show you how thick look at that see how it's already getting thick uh, so what I'm gonna do is back away and just kind of let y'all watch it get thick that's wild right like it's already getting thick Now with this one, I'm going to have to add just a little bit more um, because I want it to be the full size of the mold. Um, it's already solid. My thing is that I want the, the ashtray portion is a little thin. I don't want it to be thin. So I'm going to go ahead and do a quick little mix. I mean, it shouldn't take but a second. That should be good. It's on that second little ring on the bottom. So look at those, see how thick they're already getting? Like they are already turning white. I'm going to hustle. Oh, 
I love 10 minute resin. I usually use it on the backs of pieces just to make that piece pop. Chime in on the comments below. Let me know what do you guys use it for? Have y'all used it? I should have poured the opposite way. Now this one, because I poured so little, you really do need to make sure, make sure that you get it all out because that is every little drop is going to be counted in this last little bit. So again, mix, 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 mix. And you can see it get a little, looks like oil, because those chemicals are combining. Now this, I really don't care if it gets bubbles in it because it's literally gonna be a solid piece anyways. Um, now, one thing about these is you always can add color to it. So like I can add color to it. Um, just, it's going to make it pastel. So like if I add black, it's going to be a light gray. If I add red, it's going to end up almost like a light pink. If I add purple, it'll be a very lilac light purple. So it is like a really cool way if you groove on the pastels to do the pastel thing. Like, this is such a cool way to co do your backings on pieces. So, I'm going to mix this over here. Okay, so that one is good. Give me a second. Okay, so again, we're letting this cure really well. It looks like it's taking its time along the edges. Hoping there's no bad. Ooh, wow, see the bottom is super hot because that's kind of the trick to cure like this is that it processes extremely hot and fast. Um, it is literally already cured. You can fill it. It is warm, which means that it's still going to be super bendy. So we're just going to let it cool off and let this one finish its job, hopefully. Okay, it's starting to cure out towards the edges. Um, so again, I'm just going to kind of do this sit here and do like a little time lapse on it. Okay, so these have been chilling for a little bit. This one's still nice and warm but it's definitely ready to go i believe and this one's already pretty cool like it's not warm anymore so you just look if you i don't know there's not a sound on these usually with the other resin there's like a little crack sound but there's not with this one but like if you see you can already see it popping up it's already pop pop and then push out from the corners and from this side and it's all loose so I just pop it right out and there goes the finished piece Ta -da! so let's take this one to the side and let's see with this one it still needs a few minutes so pause again okay so let's see let's start off with like see it like popped already you can hear it pop and that sound is oddly satisfying so pushing there and out we go now this one is a little bendy still so once you set it down it will cure and then of course you know do your due diligence on filing finishing up
But so that's kind of how 10 minute resin works. That's pretty freaking phenomenal. I love it. Um, it comes out pretty cute. So if you guys have any other questions, let me know. Let me know. And come back to the next video. Bye.